Welcome to my channel. I am Amber from the blog 1898mama.com and today is going to be a big seed starting day for me so come along. I have actually started some seeds already. I started asparagus, onion, a few different kinds of peppers and then one or two varieties of tomato. I can't remember. Here's the fun thing. If I can find the picture I will post it. I posted it on my stories last night but I came inside from checking cows and all of my seeds all of my starts, everything, all my seedlings, all the dirt, everything, all over the floor, torn apart because of this guy. So that was fun. I did my best to try to preserve what I could. I will show you the mess we have going on. This is what is left and what I could save. Luckily, these ones were on top of the fridge and had not been touched yet. So actually, normally, I have my seeds started in our mudroom. We are having an HVAC system put in our basement and things have to be moved around and can be moved around, so we're getting more room in our mudroom. I plan on moving my seeds to be started downstairs. But until then, they're right here and... The cat gets into them and the, the toddler gets into them. So I'm going to start my seeds and then come up with a solution later for it, I guess. This guy is just snoring away. So if you hear him, I'm sorry. And also kids are doing chores. So you want to hear that some of that too. So before I start the seeds, I want to go over how I plan how I'm going to start my seeds. Basically what I do is I print off a calendar for each month and at the beginning and or the end of the week, for each week of that month, I write down what needs to be started that week. And then behind the month, I have a plant tracker. I will link this down below. All you have to do is print it off and it's very helpful with keeping things in order every year. This is where we are at right now. We are about six weeks from my last frost date. However, we still have a lot of snow on the ground. A lot. So I don't know if that's going to be accurate this year. It'll be interesting to see. It is Good Friday and I don't know if you've ever heard like plant your potatoes on Good Friday. I'm going to show you my garden right now. That's it. Nothing's getting planted anytime soon. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream of gold above i 
far we did I did 12 marigold flowers 24 Amish paste tomatoes which are amazing it's amazing variety to can with I love Amish paste and then six large red cherry tomatoes that's basically gonna be snacks if the kids leave enough left over there will be enough for canning my dad really likes green cherry tomatoes canned and I haven't done that for him in a few years so hopefully I will be planning enough for that I am going to plant probably six more in the next week or two. And then I also planted six Aunt Mary's corn. I can't get up on my own The world is moving on I'm still standing here Searching for steady ground A place to settle down No reasons left to find One day I'll change your mind and it won't come easy, but I know it's worth the fight. So right now I'm just hanging up my grow lights. Well, taking a break because he started crying. However, so last year I just had it in the mud room. And obviously this year it's not there anymore. So I'm taking it down and I'm going to put it up here. I get these little eye hooks and I just put them straight into the ceiling. With the ceiling in the mud room, I was able to just twirl them right in there. I didn't have to make a pilot hole. But obviously in these big old chunks of wood, I had to make a pilot hole, so I just drilled a hole in, unscrewed it, and then just put the eye hook in, and then I just hang it up with a chain, and I'll bring the shelves in, and then hang up the lights. It seems a little bit ridiculous that in this room with giant windows, I would need some grow lights. However, there just is not enough sun for some of the plants when I have them on a table just like this. So I have to get the grow lights. But I know it's worth the fight. And I know you can see it too. So keep me hanging on. And I will run across the river.
Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more things like this, make sure to subscribe because I have so much gardening content that is about to come up.